Hi everyone, I'm making this little tutorial video to show you how you can take a PDF file, maybe you know a printable worksheet you used in the past, and now you can turn it into something interactive to be used on Google Classroom for e-learning situations. So in order to do that, I will share my screen to show you what I'm doing. I'm recording this on Google Meet, and this video will save right to my drive, which is very convenient. So first of all, I need to go to the Chrome Web Store where I can download all my extensions and add-ons. And to do this whole PDF thing, I will need Kami, K-A-M-I, nice PDF annotator assignment creator. So I've downloaded this extension already. And when I did, I chose to add it as a little icon up here in my extension toolbar. I allowed it access to Google Classroom. So now it is all set up, ready to integrate for me. So you can download it from the web store. Once you have that downloaded, you will then need the document that you want to turn into an interactive worksheet. So I'm gonna pull that up through my drive. I need to upload it from my computer. I'm gonna be turning this Christmas worksheet into something interactive. So Christmas worksheet has uploaded to my Google Drive. Here it is under my files section. It is ready to go. So now that my file is in place, now I can open up Kami. I'll use my little shortcut right here. Now I'm signed up for the teacher trial, so I have you know full access to it. It is a free trial, and you can also request that your whole school receive a license to Kami. So you can also look into that on their website. But for now, I'm just in my trial, and it's giving me lots of options of where to upload from. Um, I just like to keep everything in my drive, so I put that Christmas worksheet there already. I'm gonna choose to upload from files here. Here's my Christmas worksheet. And now I'm in the place where I can actually edit this worksheet, turn it into something students can use. I will show this example because this is a worksheet where you know, students are supposed to cut out words, glue them in the correct columns. That's obviously something that we can't do over e-learning, the cutting and pasting. So instead, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna kind of cover these directions here. I'm drawing a white box on Kami. I should be able to put this in or at least and draw over it. Here I'm kind of blocking out the other previous directions. Obviously students cannot cut on this one. So I've blocked out the other directions and instead I'm going to type with a text box here. I'm going to move my text box and I'm going to say the directions are to retype following words in the correct column. To identify uh, their parts of speech. Something like that. Now there's my new direction. The columns are there. Directions are here. I can make them bold too, so that everyone knows. I'll make them bigger at least. Okay, so there's my directions. And now there is no specific place already built in here for students to type answers. So instead, I'm just going to add another text box in each of these columns. I'm gonna make it, you know, as big as here. I'm gonna say, answers here. They'll know that there's a text box available. I'll do another one for each of these columns. So now you have kind of, you know, dictated where you want the answers to appear. If the students wanted, they could also um, you know, activate this drawing tool. And as they go through, they have the ability to draw on the worksheet, you know, maybe cross out the words that they have already used. That will be an option to them. Um, of course, I don't want to 
do that for them already. That's there. So now they have places to type. And this is how I would want them to interact with the worksheet. Now I'm going to save it with this icon up here. Um, you can choose if you want it just saved on your main drive page. There will be like a special cami folder that gets created automatically if you don't need it in any other place. Or you could choose a specific folder to save this in. So maybe I want to save this in English 1. There, so now it's saved. So now I have my file ready to go. I need to go back to class or classroom to actually send it out to students. So I'm back on my classroom. I'm going to assign it to this test class. Now if I go to my classwork page, now that I have Kami downloaded, when I go to create an assignment, I now have the option of Kami assignment. So I'm going to choose that one to create a Kami assignment. And you'll notice it gives you this like, options window that's a lot bigger than the typical Google Classroom assignment window, so you'll know you're in the right place working with Kami. Um, you do have to choose which class to assign a Kami assignment to. It doesn't know automatically. But I want this for my test class. And I'm going to call it um, Christmas Worksheet. And now I have the option down here to reattach the edited document with the text box attached to it. Again, it's going to take me into my drive. I stored it in my English one. So here it is. I'm pulling it back from my drive. Christmas worksheet. I want to make sure that it is a Kami PDF because then it will give students the functionality to actually go in and type. And I'm making sure I'm making a copy for each student so they will each get their own version to edit. I'm also selecting to send Kami instructions to students, so this will attach a separate little uh, link with instructions of how they can go about typing answers if it's not clear or been covered already. And I'm just going to assign it like this. Yes, I will authorize Google Drive, authorize it through this account. So here it's just confirming, you wouldn't do this every time, but here it's confirming, yes, I want Kami to have access to my classroom and integrate with it. And I do want that. All right, assignment created. So there it is. And now I'm going to um, switch over to a student view to kind of show you what students see on their end once this has been assigned. Okay, so now I have switched over to a student view of Classroom by logging into an account my friend is letting me use here. Um, I've also enlarged my cursor so we can see everything better. So now we're on the student side. You can see that this assignment appears, um, posted a new assignment via Kami, so students will see that this is not just a regular assignment. Um, and I'll access it right here. And now it is showing me here is my copy, the student's copy, and they cannot edit anything right here, no ability to type answers, but once a student chooses to open with Kami, that's when they get all that functionality. Now, I'm, this is the first time the student has used it, so I need to authorize that they are, yes, connecting Kami to Drive to Classroom. We want that integration. So now I'm in a position where, as a student, I can type my answers just like I was asked. I can see the directions that were posted. Um, so here I can type, you know, just an example, I can type the answers that were requested. Reindeer, that's a noun. There we go. So they can type, they can add all those changes they need. If I wanted to, you know, cross out the words that I've used, I can do that for myself as a student. And then what's cool is when I'm finished editing, uh, the student does not have to go back to Classroom to turn this in. Kami has a built-in button now up in the upper right here that says turn in. So they've made the edits. Um, you can make sure, yes, you're turning in your own copy. You're not saving it to drive. Turn in. 
Well, it does. It saves the drive automatically as it turns in. There we go. So now it has been turned in. Um, we can see that it's done. Unsubmit is an option. But now if I go back to the page on Classroom, now it has updated. And even though I did not turn in via Classroom, I can see that it was turned in because now my option is unsubmit. The, the item has been turned in. And that's it. And the student has now finished the assignment and did not need to go back and forth been turned in. Okay, so I'm going to switch back one more time and show what it looks like for a teacher to grade a Kami assignment. All right, I'm back in my account, my teacher view, and I'm looking at that Christmas assignment again, and I can see that the student has turned it in. So when I go here, just like with any other assignment posted on Classroom, I can see each individual student, and I can click them to see their work. So right now I can view um, just a copy of what they type so I can see that those answers were added, those parts were crossed out, um, and you can add comments directly here. Like if I wanted to make a comment about this section, I can do that for the student to view. I could also um, open it grade with Cami, which will kind of open up more of the Cami functionality. It's nice, it's, it's keeping me in the same uh, format of classroom, so I still would have the option to toggle between students, but I can also get the Cami functionality on the side here as I grade. So I could also, you know, circle and point out certain things and leave comments as before. And then just like normal, I'm able to return this assignment to the student. and they're able to view my feedback just like it was any other assignment. So hopefully that sort of helps um, make PDFs a little more usable and make use of some of the resources you've had. You can certainly, you know, doctor up multiple files at once and then use them over time. You wouldn't have to edit and use each one every time. Um, you kind of build up a stockpile, I suppose. But other than that, um, just remember you can go and download Kami and get started doing all of these things. Thanks for watching.